Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. I am so happy that you are here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Today, we are going to make another DIY, which is everything, items, or craft that we need are almost from the Dollar Tree. And we are going to incorporate as well the recycled items and yes it's gonna be exciting anyway if you're new to my channel I'm a mom I love to craft and I love to use and incorporate anything that comes from the Dollar Tree Walmart Goodwill and anything that can be recycled and I also sell jewelries and speaking of jewelries jewelry of the day super super blakey it's beautiful this one you can check them out on the description down below if you want this one go check them out and of course yes this is a adjustable strap where you can put them either here or in that area and since my hand is so small so i have to put them in here and if you check in there and it's not in there that means it's sold on a different website but anyway let's get into this and yeah let's go to our diy of today all right let's go with our diy today i'm going to show you how to make something like this all right a gnome that lights up inside super cute all right so stay tuned and stay with me because we are going to make something like this first things first this one is you know where you can find this you can find this as well at the Dollar Tree and they are super awesome and cool this is where you use it when you dust some you know dust and you can grab this at the Dollar Tree. I got this at the Dollar Tree. And of course, we're going to recycle. If you have this one, the creamer jar, or anything that is you want to use. So use it. This is the kind that I want to use. And a burlap. I got this from Walmart. So yes, you can use anything you want. And I got this one, the lead light string, and I want that hearts. And of course, felt. I have this pink one and decorative one, and then the tiny one, and then the blue one. So, yes, we are going to use this. And if you have a soldering iron, you can use it as well because we're gonna use this. We're gonna need this one and we're gonna use this one. But if you don't have this, you can use a um, cutting knife or a knife, all right? So be very, very careful, you guys. This is gonna be super, super uh, PG <laughs> project, all right? So yeah, let's get into this. And of course, preheat your glue gun and let's get into this, let's go. All right, first things first, we are going to remove this cover right here and there you go they are done all right so we are going to use the option number one if you don't have a soldering iron okay so what you're going to do is you are going to make a hole here just poke a hole be very very careful guys this is not very safe i promise so just poke a hole like so and since you're making a hole we are going to make like at least a little inch in there that we can do and i'm going to use this kind of scissors because this is my strong scissors So we have a cut down here already, so there you go. And of course, this is not from the cut from any of my sharp stuff down here. This is from my skin. My skin is super, super dry. I have this other one, there's no hole. So if you have a soldering iron, it is much better and quicker and easier. 
but it's of course it's hot so be very very careful as well so all you have to do just make another cut in there There you go, there's the hole on that jar. All right, so next we are going to grab our burlap and we are going to start gluing from the top, okay? And I'm going to start down here, like by where the hole is. So I'm going to start there. So next, what we are going to do is we are going to cover the bottom of this one. So it's almost like we are tracing something down here with this burlap. So I am just going to put a glue here at the bottom. There you go super pretty so next we are going to put a folded burlap down here start from this hole down here okay so it's just almost like it's touching down there but i want to fold it so it looks pretty going to fold this one just like so and we are going to need a velcro and I forgot we are going to need a velcro you can also grab a velcro at the Dollar Tree now let's grab our velcro and we are going to glue them down here and over here so we have like opening okay so Alright, so there you go. Now we can try out to open our project. Ta-da! Super awesome! And I'm just going to make it secure down here so they are even more pretty. So now it is done and we are going to set this one aside and we are going to work on our duster. Alright, so next we are going to open our duster somehow from the Dollar Tree. So we are going to open this. And we are going to use this as our beard all right so look how fluffy is that isn't it pretty or what okay so what we are going to do is we are going to separate this one like that and if it is hard you can always grab this and make them separated and I will do that And what we are going to do is we are going to use 
just separate the middle one and the side one right here on this side. Okay, that's what you need to do. That's the only one to separate. Just like that. All right, so just leave the other end. And if you completely undo it, you can always glue it. And look how beautiful that is for the gnome's beard. And there you go. We got it. Super fluffy, guys. Super cute. All right, so let's go get our gnome's nose. All right, so let's make a nose. So if you cannot find a, you know, those little ball for the nose for your gnome, you can always find a button or a bead somehow like this kind of shape and have a almost skin tone um, felt. So all you have to do is you can always grab it and you can do it like so, like glue it all together down there in the middle. And if you cannot find any buttons or any beads that are round, you can always grab a ping pong balls. And all you have to do is just glue them and mold it like how you want it. And then it will create a nose of your little nose. So, I'm going to make this as a nose, guys, so stay with me. Alright, so after that, you are just going to cut the excess. And what you can do, you are going to try to close these areas that are, you know, flying everywhere. Just try to close it and glue it. And there you go. There is our gnome's nose. All right, so next we are going to make sure that this meeting down here or somehow anywhere in there is going to be at the back, okay? Don't worry about this. We are going to cover this up with a hat anyway, so don't worry about that, okay? So what we can do is make sure that this area the opener is going to be at the back okay so we are going to put our beard down here and look how cute that is so right now this is where that thing has a cut already so I'm going to put that in there okay so bear with me Look how cute that is. Now we are going to work on our gnome's hat, okay? So right now what I'm trying to do is, on my previous videos, I'm, I just glue them like so. I fold it like this, and I glued this one like so, okay? So I am going to glue this right now. So bear with me, okay? There you go. Now we make a triangle. You can also fold it if you want to, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just going to fold this like so. Where we put a glue down here, you just have to do it like this, just like so. All right. And what we are going to do right now, we are just going to cut an angle like that. Like a, just one cut down here in the side and straight line down here, okay? Just slant triangle and a straight line on the back, okay? All 
right, so we have our gnomes hat like so. Now we are going to grab our gnome that we just built and it was folded like this, remember? And then you just have to undo it. So make sure that glued part should be on the back of your or the head of your gnome. So all you have to do is just put them in. All right, so as you can see guys, it looks super perfect like that. And as you can see on the back, you won't even see the one that is not right line in there. All right, so that's why I meant to do it that way. So then you are going to not worried about the one at the back, okay? So all you have to do right here right now is you just have to don't glue here all you have to do is we just have to glue the one here on the gnome's nose okay so let's glue that and i want to put this decorative blue down here so i'm just going to cut them evenly down here in this area and I want to put that added, added on the nose. Decorations of the nose, so it should look like that. All right, so the one in the back is, I'm just going to cut it like, angle it like so like that. So it's almost like connected to the felt. And I'm just going to glue it like that. And then I have this DIY stickers. I used this in my previous videos as well. I am just going to use this wooden heart. Now we are going to open this. We got this one, or I got this one, at the Dollar Tree as well. You don't even have to undo it, guys, okay? So, just put some batteries on this. And then, you are going to open the one in the back. That we put a Velcro on. Just like so. And you just have to put this many hearts or the red hearts inside. And just leave this one outside, okay? And there you go. We can turn this on. You can see and check what's going on in our gnome. There you go, super cute. Look at that heart. I love that, super, super cute. And I also made a girly one. And look at that. I made that and I added a decorative felt down there on the top with that chipboard hearts. And this one, look how cute that is. It lights up. Mm -hmm.